Three days into the new school year and eyebrows being raised over a syllabus passed out by an English teacher at Alamo Junior High in Midland. Here's a look at it and the paragraph giving people pause. It says students can only speak English in the class in all caps followed with several exclamation marks. It specifically excludes four languages including Spanish. This says more than half of the school's population is Hispanic and more than 11 percent are considered English language learners. News West 9's Rachel Rip is live from the school. Rachel, can a teacher actually say that? Crystal, it's complicated. The Midland ISD academic guide and course catalog for 2021 to 2022 doesn't specify what is and isn't allowed to be said in a school syllabus, but the district says they are reviewing the document in question. And regardless of the guidelines, parents, they're not happy. What you say matters, a good lesson for us all. And today, that's the question posed to Midland ISD after this was written in a seventh grade English class syllabus. It reads, this is an English class, therefore no other languages are allowed to be spoken during my class. One parent tells me she's mad at herself for not reading through her daughter's syllabus more thoroughly before signing off on it. Another parent's reaction, OMG, I am speechless. And another parent says they find it rude how this syllabus was written saying in part, quote, there should be nicer ways to talk about other languages use in the class, end quote. All of whom say this wording means something different when English is in a first language. Here's what Midland ISD says. In a statement, leaders say, the statement in this document does not reflect the values of MISD. We want all of our scholars to feel comfortable in the classroom, including language of personal expression, this incident is being investigated and will be handled administratively, end quote. The district also says, quote, syllabi should be reviewed by department heads and campus administration. We will be evaluating our review process to understand what happened in this circumstance. We value all our learners and the diversity of experience they bring to our district, end quote. Now, the district also tells me that all syllabi materials should be approved and reviewed by uh, department heads and campus administrators. Now, they're also reevaluating that review process to understand how this was approved in the first place and why this wording was allowed in the syllabus. Reporting live in Midland, I'm Rachel Ripp. Back to you.